Michelle and this is Makeup or Breakup Blog and today I'm going to be viewing my last little Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the year 2021. This is for December and this is the bag that it came in. Hey, so I'm going to try to recreate the video because the first video I did for this, I inadvertently deleted it all that work okay so i am going to do a quick see through so you can see which products i received um and we'll take it from there i'm trying not to go by memory i did look real quick on the ipsy website where i have my account to see what it is i received for the december 2021 bag the theme of which is here so let without further ado let's do this the first thing i have here is from Complex Culture Beauty, which is a brand of, of uh, Ipsy. And this is their blush. I think it's like a blush contour, believe it or not. It's called Total Glow and Subtle Glow. So this is definitely something that you can play up on the skin with and make your skin look very healthy looking. But I love that it comes with directions on how to apply, like right on the cheekbones. The color payoff is gorgeous. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna do a quick swatch here so you can see. This one is more peachy and shimmer, and this one is more matte, the pink. So I'm just gonna do them quick here and see if they show on the skin. They barely show, I mean, look at that. But I'm assuming that this is buildable, and it is. That's the pink side, and this is the peachy shimmer side. I think it's beautiful. All of their packaging is similar with that grayish with the C, the double C there. And again, this is an Ipsy brand. So if you have not been trying out their makeup or their brushes, don't sleep on it. Very, very high performance on those. Okay, the next thing that I received is from Kate Somerville. And this is their exfoliate, and this is their moisturizing cream, right? This is the moisturizer. And it's supposed to give a glow, which I'm assuming might mean that it has vitamin C. I'm just gonna show you the packaging really quick so you can see. Very clean looking packaging. Sorry about the bright light here. I'm trying to get that to focus, but there you go. And I love that it has that cute little happy face there. Do you see that? I love it. And it has a, ooh, it's a very thick. I don't know if you can see that. That is beautiful. Oh, it smells very, very nice. It, it feels like it has, it must have citrus, but I will post the ingredients somewhere here. And I'm just going to apply this because my skin is feeling a little dry. So this comes just in time for these dry winter months ahead. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of using this product. And again, I will post, I will try to find the ingredients and post that along with the price tag for each of these products. Oh, this is gorgeous, love it. It smells citrusy, I like it. Verb. And this is their ghost prep. This is something for the hair. I am so thrilled about this. This is a weightless moisture and heat protection and frizz control. Say no more, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now I'll put the price tag and if I find the ingredients, I will post it there as well. Hmm. So far, skincare, hair care, something to make me all glowy. You'd think that, that would be perfect, that would be fine, but no, there's more to this. The next thing I have here is a bronzer by Shades of Sam or sun, maybe, and it's just their bronzer. This looks delicious. I haven't done bronzers in a hot minute, but I think I'm gonna start using them now that the winter's coming so that I don't look deathly pale on top of the pale I'm already at. This is the shade. I will, oh, it feels a little um, powdery. Dare I say, even a little crumbly, but I'm liking the color, specific for me. Something to prep my skin further. This is from Real. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, I will put the the 
pronunciation down here phonetically. This is their glass primer. I'm loving the packaging, it's very sleek and sexy. I will, ooh, okay. It actually looks like a foundation almost, dare I say? Look at that, huh. It has a very strange scent to it. It's like almost chemical, but not. But I will be applying this. It's a primer, so it'll go on the spots that are suspect, like the tops of my cheeks, the T-zone, which is here, down the nose, pressed in. It does have a, a weird scent. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe like almost like a jasmine scent. For those who love that smell, jasmine, I don't, I don't. But it just has that that that, that particular flowery scent. Mm, I, I can't place my finger on it, but I think you know what I mean. Okay, well it's applied to my skin, and I will put the ingredients to both eyes. One was part and one I actively picked. So this is the one that was part of the Ipsy Glam bag. Plus, this is from Floss. Beautiful neutral colors. You can't go wrong with them, obviously. The mattes are very smooth and the shimmers are nice too. I can't really complain about this. Let's see. Where can I put this? One, two, three, four. Do you see them there? They are really bright. Wow, look at that. What? Gorgeous from Floss No Less. I've heard of this brand before and I believe I may have received another thing from that brand in another box, but this is very nice. What is this called? It's called Just Peachy. There you go. Beautiful color payoff. My goodness. Definitely, definitely, wow, that's gorgeous. And the next color um, palette that I have here is from Hip Dot, and this is one of their teeny, um, what I like to call teeny ones. And I believe this is, let's see, pressed pigment. So you know you're gonna get color performance right off the bat. And it's Witchy Nouveau. Ooh, okay, so this is gorgeous, look at that. Is that pretty? That glitter. I am going to need something with that glitter because as much as the glitter in Hip Dot is beautiful, any glitter, I still need to have some sort of like sticky thing, like a glitter primer in order for that to stay put because it does stay put for the most part, but then it starts to flake off a little and then I'll have it on my eyes for days. But, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, I just barely touched it. Oh, okay, let me see where, where can I put this square? Oh my goodness, I'm running out of space. One, two, three. Yeah, the glitter is beautiful. But you see how it's the specs? Yep, so you gotta be very careful with that when you apply and preferably use a glitter primer that's made for the eye. And then try to remember not to rub your eye, just saying. Okay, I think last but not least, no, not last but not least, uh, something else for the eyes too. Wait, there's a little bit more. The next thing I have here is from, what's this company called? Jekka Blau, Jekka Black, J-E-C-C-A-B-L-A-C. And this is the liquid concealer in 1.0. I don't know if you can see that. This stuff, it sounds liquidy, I don't know if you could hear that, but yeah, it's liquidy. I'm just gonna put a little here so you can see. I mean, it doesn't take much for to, to pull out anything. This stuff is like full, this may be runny, but this is full on coverage. See how runny it is? But by gum, a little goes a long way way sparingly sparingly because i'm telling you this stuff is magic and this little tube i can imagine will go like a full year i'm just gonna 
it's just amazing. So I'm gonna take this little and I'll just apply. I got something from Charlotte Tillsbury. What? And I keep saying Tillsbury, but I think it's Tilbury. This is her Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Pencil. What? Ew, and this is full size. And this is what the pencil looks like. Very unassuming in a kind of gold bronzy looking packaging. This is the point. As you can tell, I already started using it because it's really pretty. And there you will see, look at that. Very creamy, very nice. And I mean, I have, I have something on now. It's just lip balm. So apparently, this apparently started the craze for those pillow lips to make them look pillowy. Not that I need much help in that because I have full lips naturally, thank goodness. But apparently this was to help give the appearance of full, plump, pillowy lips. Ooh. And I'll put that there. Oh, I did get one more thing. This is an add-on. And this is um, by Uma Beauty. And this is their Icon or Badass Icon lipstick. I have fallen so in love with Uma Beauty. Their colors are vibrant, beautifully pigmented, strong. Um, they're gorgeous. This is the packaging for it. And I, there's lettering there. Can you see what it says? I'll tell you, it says, and I quote, a badass does not talk about being a badass. How true. True words have never been said, but it's so true. Let's look at this. Oh, mm, I'm just gonna apply a little here so you can see that. <gasps> that color payoff is amazing. Let's see if I apply it, how it looks. Creamy, like butter. I am beyond pleased with everything I got. What did you get in your box? Let me know in the comments below. Do you subscribe to Ipsy? Again, let me know in the comments below. Are you, which which tier? Base, uh, the plus, or the X, the collab bag? Again, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we made it to the end of 2021. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you so much to all of you who have hung in there, have seen my videos, have commented, have clicked like, have clicked the subscribe button and their notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hey, hi. I would love for you if you could. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And here is to a happy and healthy and safe and wonderful new year.